The Mighty Cheeseburger, a classic as old as the cow and cheese themselves. But what if you were to make it with fish instead? Australian Bonito or Sutter Australis. These guys are a medium sized pelagic fish on the east coast of Australia, common in summer. From the tuna or mackerel family with super sharp little teeth, little grooves on the side of their body for their pectoral fins to sit in to keep them streamlined in the water. Species traveling between 40 and 60 kilometers an hour. So let's jump into an awesome day diving recently when I managed to get my hands on a couple of these speedy little fellas. Now here is something I love about spearfishing so much. I started out this dive by shooting a flute fish. You can see that in a video I posted recently over here. Now this is no easy feat. This is an elusive little fish. A 10 cent piece size target maybe. And I managed to shoot it bang on through the eyes. This was something that I was extremely proud of and extremely impressed in my spearfishing ability. However, from here I proceeded to miss not one, not two, but three easy shots on some of the biggest bonito I have ever seen in my life. Now this humbling nature of spearfishing, from these lofty heights of 10 cent piece sized targets to missing rugby ball sized targets only minutes later, this is what keeps me coming back for more. Because these are lessons that bleed into the rest of your life. Lessons that teach you to stay focused and not be distracted by what others are doing or our own beliefs about ourselves. Now, after learning these lessons, I did manage to secure a couple of bonito. Let's get into how we cooked them up. So let's kick it off with a burger sauce. You're gonna to wanna to take some pickles and give them a rough chop. And once you've done that, push them off to the side and get ourselves a mixing bowl. Let's add some whole egg mayonnaise, some tomato sauce, and some Dijon mustard. We'll give that a stir and have a little taste. When I'm making sauces, I don't really work to measurements. I'll just taste as I go and adjust as I like. So we'll add in a little bit more tomato sauce and a little bit more mustard here. It was just a little too mayonnaise at this point. Once we're happy, we'll chuck in those pickles and stir them through. Here we got one of our beautiful Bonito. And see here, he's been hanging in the fridge for a few days dry aging. I will kind of run through this one pretty quick, but if you want to see a more in-depth video on how to process a Bonito, you can check out one of my other videos in the top right there. As always, we're gonna take the head off here and package it all up to go into the freezer, ready for a stock at some point. We're gonna take our fillets off the frame, a couple of beautiful fillets there. So we're just going to debone taking the ribs out and also the pin bones. And then we're going to split our fillets up into those top loins and belly flaps. I'm going to skin the fillets and start cubing everything up. Now for these burgers, I did get a meat grinder. Um, some people may say it's a specialty item, but I did manage to get this one on Facebook Marketplace for only 50 bucks. And there are plenty online, nice and cheap as well if you hunt around. In the past, I've just chopped the meat with a knife and that seems to have worked all right. But using the meat grinder does seem to just give it a way better texture. Something much closer to your traditional beef patties. So we're just going to take all of our cubes and slowly put them through the grinder until we get a nice pile of fish mince on the plate. Once we're all done, we will squeeze up a few patties, just taking a bunch 
of mint into your hand and squeezing it together. I didn't add any extras to these patties, you can if you like. I find even when making burgers with just beef, I like to keep it simple and keep it just the meat. So cooking with ghee as always, awesome oil or fat to work with. And we're just gonna put some salt on our burger patties just there. So we're going to put these burgers in on a medium heat, something enough that we'll be able to cook through, but also to get a nice crust on them. And we're going to cook these guys for about five minutes per side. Now, while your burgers are cooking, you're going to want to toast your buns. I like to use a sandwich press. It gives it some really cool lines on the top of the burger bun. They look real nice on the plate. My sandwich press doesn't have the ability to stay locked somewhat open. So in order to stop the buns being crushed, I just put a can under the handle there. And there we go, those beautiful lines on the burger buns right there. So now we're done about five minutes per side. We're gonna flip those burgers and set them up on the other side. And once you've done those five minutes, we're just gonna put some cheese on top. My pick, as with any burger, is American cheese. You really can't beat American cheese on your burger. It just melts like nothing else. So I did forget to film a bit of the plating here, guys, but I did just add a nice slice of crispy lettuce underneath, the burger patty, and then the burger sauce on top. And it's as easy as that for a fish take on your classic cheeseburger.